Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to easily create a solar eclipse using Adobe Photoshop. Alright fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will go to File, New and then I will put 1920 pixel in the width, 1080 pixel in the height, 72 in the resolution and RGB in the color mode. But feel free to change whatever setting you want for this. Alright, and I will press OK. Now the first thing that we are going to do is to fill this background with black. So I can either press Alt backspace on my keyboard or I can go to this uh, bucket tool in here. And then I went one click and you can see this will fill it with black because my foreground color is set to black. Alright, now we're gonna apply a, a pattern on uh, top of this. So I will go to this adjustment in here and then I will choose pattern. And as you can see I already have the pattern that we'll be using in here loaded. But I'm gonna make sure to put it down in the link from the description below. So just download it and load it. Alright, so in the scaling in here I will put it around uh, 30%. And then I will press OK. And after that, I will go to the opacity in here and I will set it around 40%. And as you can see, this will give it this kind of uh, stars. Yeah, that uh, looks really cool. And if you think uh, the star it doesn't uh, appear uh, that much, you can always go back and set the opacity around 50% or more as you like. I'm gonna set it around 50%. And I think they look really good. Alright, now we'll go to this elliptical marquee tool in here and then I'm gonna create a new circle. So I'm gonna make sure that uh, I will put it in a new layer in here. So I'm gonna create a new layer and then I'm gonna make a circle by pressing shift and then one click and drag and as you can see this will allow me to create a, a perfect circle just like this. Alright, and then I will fill it with black. So I'm gonna press alt backspace and before I'm gonna deselect this selection I will make sure that I would go to this uh, uh, layer uh, mask that is in uh, the pattern that we created and then I will hit alt and backspace and as you can see this will uh, delete this circle from uh, the, the, the layer mask in here which is mean that we can now uh, uh, apply uh, the effects in here without without having this uh, pattern affecting the circle in here. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl D to deselect. And as you can see, we have this black circle in the middle. All right, now we'll go back to this layer that it has uh, the circle and I will name it circle one. And then I'm gonna create two copies of it. So I'm gonna press Ctrl J two times, one, two. And as you can see, now we have three circles in here. All right. Now, I'm gonna uh, hide this first and second circle and then I will double click on this uh, first circle in here and as you can see the layer style uh, dialog will open and then I will go to outer glow and I will make sure that my color is set to white and then the opacity is set to 100% and in the size in here I will make it around 100 pixel and uh, the range I will make sure that is set to 100% and then I would go to inner glow and then again I'm, I'm gonna change uh, the color to white and I will press OK and the opacity is set to 100% and the size I will make it around 16 pixel and the range also I will make sure that is set to 100% and I will press OK all right as you can see now we have this glow coming from uh, the circle. All right, now we'll go and select uh, the, the second circle in here. So I'm gonna select it and make it visible. And then before I'm gonna head to the layer uh, side dialog, I will make sure that the fill is set to 0% for this uh, circle in here. And then I will double click on it to open the layer side dialog. And again, I will go to the outer glow. And this time I'm gonna change this white to uh, a cyan color, so I'm gonna choose a cyan color in here all right and I will press ok and for this one I will uh, make uh, the size the half of this uh, 
pixels in here so I'm gonna put around 50 pixels or you can uh, put less but I think 50 it would work so I'm gonna put 50 and the range I will keep it the same and then I will go to the inner glow and again I will make uh, the color to a cyan color hopefully it will match yeah, I think it's the same one and I will press ok and then I will uh, make the half of the size in here so I'm gonna put it around 7 pixel and the range I will keep it 100% and I will press ok alright now I will go back to this first circle and I will hide the second circle for now and then I will right click and I will choose Rasterize Layer Size the reason why we did this so we can apply a layer mask and then we can hide the half of this uh, uh, circle in here so I will one click on this layer mask icon and then I will head to the gradient uh, tool in here and I will make sure that uh, the gradient style is set to this one the first one in here and then I will uh, uh, one click on this drop down arrow and I will make sure that I'm selecting this uh, second one in here and my foreground color is set to black I will one click and I will drag like this so I can delete the half of this just like this alright so something like that and then I will go to the second circle and I will make it visible and I will select it and again I will right click and I will choose Restorize layer style and as you can see now we have it without the layer style it already applied on it and again I will apply the same uh, layer mask to this so I'm gonna select the layer mask from this circle in here and I will press alt on my keyboard and I will take it and put it on the top in here and as you can see this will create a copy of the same layer mask alright now it's the time to select uh, the, the last circle so I will select it and I will make it visible and then I will double click on it and this time I will apply the same pattern uh, that we used so I will go to the pattern overlay and I will uh, make sure that I'm selecting the pattern that you will find down in the link from the description below and I will make the scale to 10% and I will press OK and in here I will make sure that uh, the fill is set to 0% and I will make the opacity around 50% And then I will apply a, a layer mask on it. So I will go and I will one click on this layer mask. And using uh, the same gradient tool, I'm gonna delete a little bit from here. So I will one click and I will delete a little bit just like that. So it will give this kind of uh, effect in here. All right, so we're almost done. Now, uh, the last thing that we are going to do is to make this kind of flare in, uh, in here. So I will make a new layer. And then I will fill it with black by pressing Alt Backspace. And then I will go to Filter. And I will go to Render. And I will choose Lens Flare in here. Uh, for these lenses, you can choose whatever you want from here. But I think I will use this uh, third one. And I will make uh, the, the brightness a little bit less. Around 60%. I will put it just like that and I will press OK alright this is perfect now I will uh, change the, the blending mode of this uh, lens flare to linear dodge add and as you can see now we can uh, place it to wherever we want so I will uh, select my move tool and then I'm gonna press ctrl T and I will place it around here and I can rotate it just like that and of course I can scale it it doesn't matter if it will be rasterized so I'm gonna scale it a little bit like this alright I think this looks good and I'm gonna show you a trick to get rid of uh, these uh, things in here so I will go and I will select uh, the, the burn tool and in the range in here I will make sure that it's set to shadow and the exposure is set to 100% and then I'm gonna get rid of this really easily like this 
as you can see and this way we'll, we'll, we would end up with just this flare that we want and that's it for this tutorial i hope that you enjoy and you like this uh, tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching